Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Rockingham Community College. The commencement ceremony is about to begin. Please remain seated as the college marshal leads the procession of the faculty, professional staff, and stage party. You will then be invited to stand as you are able for the procession of the candidates for graduation. Thank you.
If you all could please join me in a moment of silence. We come today to celebrate the achievements of our graduates and pray for strength to move forward to our various chosen paths. We are grateful for the support, guidance, and counsel given to us by teachers and families. May our graduation today not be an ending, but the beginning of a new adventure, new learning, and new service to other people. Amen. Good morning. My name is Libby Madry, and I'm chairman of the college's board of trustees. I would like to welcome all of you to our 2018 summer commencement. This is a special day as we recognize the achievement of our graduates. Graduates, congratulations on a job well done. It has been our privilege to have you at RCC. Our faculty and staff have worked hard to prepare you for transfer to a four-year university or to enter the workforce with a technical or vocational degree. I challenge each of you to build on what this college has provided you and you will be ready for the challenges that will be presented to you. Today I want to thank our dedicated faculty and staff for your constant support of this college. And I want to thank my fellow trustees for your unselfish devotion to this college. It is my pleasure to work with all of you. To the families that are here today, thank you for supporting these graduates. Without your support, many of them would not be in this position of honor today. Graduates, we wish you well. Good morning, my name is Mark Kenlaw and I'm president of Rockingham Community College. I too would like to add my personal greetings to the audience and the graduates and welcome everyone to our 2018 summer commencement ceremony. This morning we are gathered to honor the students of the summer graduating class of 2018. This is their day. Graduates, I extend to you my congratulations and I want to thank you for selecting Rockingham Community College to further your education. I believe I can speak for all of our faculty, staff, and board of trustees in saying that it has been our privilege to be a part of your life. You have done well and you, and you have accomplished a lot. You have made it, but please understand, learning is a lifelong process. Never ever stop learning. Always have the will to learn. Take what you have learned and go make a difference in the world. The world awaits you and you now have, you now have the tools to go out and be leaders in your community. Take a stand each day on what is important to you. Work hard and work with integrity. Be kind to others and always remember that there are always others less fortunate than you. They need for you to give back and become involved in making a difference where, where you choose to live and work. Strive to be, the be to be your best every day and use the skills that you have been taught to improve the company that you work for and the community that you live. We look forward to all the great things that each of you will achieve. Please understand that it's not easy out there. You have to work hard and use the talents you have to the best of your ability. There are many here today that play a significant role in making our college what it is today and one that offers high quality programs that prepare our students for work and or college transfer to a four-year university. They include our board of trustees who are seated on the stage behind me, our faculty, our staff, our foundation, elected officials, public school personnel, and many throughout our county and region that support our college and make it one of the best that, uh, that there is in this region for the past 50 years. Please help me to recognize all of these that have supported our graduates and our college. <laughs> Unfortunately, this morning our speaker is, is not able to join us, but in lieu, of, uh, in lieu of our speaker, Dr. Bob Laddermilk, who is Vice President for Student Development, will come and make some comments to our graduates. So when I was <clears throat> standing in the ADT hallway a few moments ago and um, the president and I talked about me offering some remarks, trying to pull things out of the computer file in your head to think about what in a very, very, very few minutes I could say to those of you who are graduating. 
An idea that came to mind is an idea that my wife used when she spoke several years ago to the graduates at Rockingham County High School. And so here it is. Today you're graduating and you're looking at the opportunity to go forward and to do something with your life. It may continue in the world of education. You may be preparing to move into the field for which your diploma, your certificate, your degree has prepared you. When you came into this world, when you were born, the year of your birth was known and was recorded on a birth certificate. At some point in time, you will leave this earth, this earthly life, and the year that designates that will be posted on a certificate. When your obituary is written, the year of your birth and the year of your death will be noted. But in between, there is a little dash. So let's say if you were born in 1960 and died in 1990, that's what it's going to appear, 1960-1990. What does the dash represent? The dash represents what you will have done with your life prior to the time that you die. So what I ask you to think about going forward today is what are you going to do with your life? At this juncture of your life, you're graduating. Many of you will move into the workforce. Many of you will move on into a four-year program or other forms of study or even beyond four years. But what will your life be known for on the basis of what you have been educated to do? Will your life be known for serving other people? Being involved in charitable causes that benefit humanity? Will your life be known and will you have been recognized as somebody who cares deeply and passionately for whatever it is that drives you, whether it's healthcare, whether it's welding, whether it's business? What will people come to know about you? What will that dash represent? Your time at Rockingham Community College has given you wonderful preparation to start this important part of your journey as you look forward. For some of you, it's a change in career path. For many of you, this is the first major career path and many things will unfold. No, we don't know what the next day will bring. We don't know where you'll be a year from now, five years from now, but as your life continues to move forward, as you learn more, as you work, as you are a member of our culture and society, as you are hopefully engaged in your communities, what will that dash be known for that represents your life? I'm sure I speak on behalf of the faculty who have been instrumental in your education in saying we hope that that life that you live will be characterized by goodness, fairness, honesty, civility, Indeed, a concern for others, and hopefully using what you have learned, whether it's now or later, to benefit other people, not just yourself. In many of your cases, what you are preparing to do will be considered a calling. In fact, I think you could apply that to just about any of the fields that you are going to represent today in your graduation. So as you go forward, think about the dash. What will it represent? Congratulations on graduating. This is a great day for you, and we are very hopeful that that dash is going to glisten as your years continue to move on. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Loudermilk. I now invite Dr. Bob Loudermilk, Vice President for Student Development, and Ms. Sheila Regan, Vice President for Academic Affairs, to join me to assist with the conferral of degrees and presentation of diplomas. This one first. I now ask the candidates for graduation to please stand. President Kenlaw, on behalf of the faculty, I present to you these candidates for graduation. I certify that these persons have fulfilled the graduation requirements for their respective programs of study as prescribed by the college and the North Carolina Community College system and recommend that you confer upon them the certificates, diplomas, and degrees for which they have qualified. By the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of Rockingham Community College and under the statutes governing community colleges, in the state of North Carolina, 
I hereby co confer upon you the appropriate certificate, diploma, or associate degree with all of the rights, honors, responsibilities, and privileges pertaining thereto as graduates of Rockingham Community College. So with the exception of the first row to my left, the graduates may be seated. The graduates will come forward as they are directed and names are called. The chair of our board of trustees will greet each graduate. Each graduate will also receive an RCC pen from the RCC Foundation. Please note that some graduates are receiving certificates and diplomas or diplomas and degrees. Individual names are called at the time the graduate receives the higher of the credentials. I ask the audience to respect the solemnity of the ceremony and treat all graduates with dignity and respect during this aspect of the ceremony. Please refrain from outward expressions that may cause the next graduate's name not to be heard. Because space is limited and in order not to impede the movement of graduates, we ask that family and friends not come to the front for photographs. Now, let the graduates come forward as directed. Candidates for certificates in phlebotomy, Mackenzie Lee Marsh. Candidates for diplomas, Regine Germeyer Royal in air conditioning, heating, and refrigeration technology. In practical nursing, Heather W. Adkins. Edith Bradley, Lee Ann Denny, graduating with honors, Chastity Gail Edwards, graduating with honors, Emily Tuttle Fagg, Brittany Fretwell, honors, Jennifer Hale. Keisha LaWanda Hampton. Jennifer Lynn Hopper, high honors. Leslie M. Manley. Jessica Renee Newman. Mechadist Aldebron Nita. Blake Norman, Mercedes Renee Oldwin, Alexis Marie Padgett, Sylvia Maribel Rivera, Cordelia Ann Russell, Megan Ann Shelton, high honors. 4.0. Lizanne Tui Wilson. In surgical technology, Kara Anderson. Dean's List. Brittany Beecham. Miranda Brooke Bondland. Kevin Dean Chilton. Casey Alexandra Ellis with honors. Ashley Nicole Grinnell with honors. Chandler Amos Hartley. Amanda Faye Henry. Kyle Wayne Jenkins with honors. Caitlin Elizabeth Orlamoski, Dean's List. Mariana Rodriguez, graduating with honors. Jessica P. Smith, graduating with honors. 
Emily Ann Wheeler with high honors. Destiny Nicole White. Makisha Dion Woods, Dean's List. In Welding Technology, Bradley Stephen Denson III, High Honors. Isaiah Thomas Graves, Dean's List. Wendy Young Wall, High Honors 4.0. These are candidates for the Associate in Applied Science degree in Accounting, Stephanie Denise Hazlip Davenport, High Honors. Angelica Melita Pretty with Honors. In Brewing, Distillation and Fermentation, Equipment Packaging and Maintenance, Nikolai Mitkoff Dragnev. Business Administration, Cheryl Denise Sams. Criminal Justice Technology, Christopher Jerome Durth. Electrical Systems Technology, Christopher David Dunn, honored. The candidates for the Associate in Arts degree Jordan Nicole Bauer. Isabella Paul Honors. <laughs> Derek Aaron Joyce. Jessica Lynn McClunghill. Victoria Brooke Orr. Samantha Lynn Ray. Jose Francisco Torres Flores, High Honors. Jacob Mark Wilson. Chelsea Campen. The candidates for the Associate in Science degree. Wesley Samuel Murphy. With the summer 2018 graduating class, please stand. Graduates, the tassel on your mortar board is currently on the right, which is the traditional location for students who have not completed their degree. Now that your degree has been conferred, you may now turn your tassel so that it is on the left of your mortar board. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Rockingham Community College's summer graduating class. <laughs> Well done, we are all so proud of you and wish you, wish you great success. Ms. Samantha Ray will now come and offer the benediction and following the benediction, I ask that everyone remain standing at your places until the recessional has concluded. I also remind you that a reception and diploma pickup follows in the advanced technologies building adjacent to the gym. This concludes our, our commencement ceremony and I wanna thank all of you for joining us this morning. Again, please join me in a moment of silence. As we go forth, may those who have graduated use their knowledge, talents, and skills to serve others and to always remember the importance of learning for a lifetime. Amen. <laughs>